push up, puffed Oliver. That's not the way to speak. Hiss the cars. Oliver heard nothing. The cars moved smoothly at first. Then suddenly, Oliver felt them push forward. At last, the cars grew tired. I'm winning, gasped Oliver. But it was too late. Oliver lay bruised and bemused, bunkered down in the turntable well. Duck surveyed the damage. Hello, Oliver. Are you being a good, gracious engine? Big pardon, but we really don't like this sort of surprise. Donald and Douglas will miss their turntable until it is mended. That evening, Oliver was hauled gently to safety. I'm sorry, sir, he said to Sir Topham Hatt. I should have listened to Duck's advice. I don't feel good gracious or whatever it is. I just feel silly. Well, Oliver, replied Sir Topham Hatt, now you know the damage cars can do. Yes, I do, sir. I, I look like a load of scrap iron. Oh, I don't think so, laughed Sir Topham Hatt. But you do need to go to the work to be mended. The other engines now felt sorry for Oliver. The branch line won't be the same without you, Whistle Duck. Come back soon. Oliver did come back. A few days later, Oliver did come back. His coat gleamed brighter than ever. He was